What's up agents, Jetforth here, and in a world where nothing works properly, I bring you Tom Clancy's The Division. <laughs> so yeah, you uh, definitely are seeing me shoot my own turret here, because, well, you know, Striker doesn't really work at all in any which way that it's supposed to i mean it works a little bit better now but let's be honest so what you're seeing here is a six skill tiered striker build yes that is right six skill tiers and dubitably d whatever now although that striker does say that it is only weapon damage it is actually affecting skills as well which makes for an incredibly well overpowered build as you can see here i can just melt down npcs with my turret my striker drone and me myself with my own uh, personal weapon you could just clear rooms with this like nobody's business it's not even funny now I do have to give a big old shout out to one of the Looney Tunes in my discord for telling me about this by the name of a spicy conspiracy so all the credit goes to him for this because he said striker works with skills and so I did what any good youtuber would do stole the idea went to my stash grabbed all my crappy striker stuff and rolled skill tier stuff on it and boy oh boy I let me tell you I I was surprised with what it is doing so just to give you a quick general idea of how much damage you're doing and how much DPS you were putting out your striker drone at peak damage is hitting a hundred and fifty nine thousand per bullet your turret is hitting a just over two hundred thousand per shot and depending on what kind of gear you have I personally could still put 30% more uh, skill damage on this build which is just gonna make it push even harder Ooh, that sounded a uh, bad so other than that I did mess around in the shooting range for like four seconds just so you can see all the damage at once going on to one target and it went up to 17 million dps now i wouldn't pay too close attention to that number because the shooting range has never really told you exactly anything that's right i guess it can just give you a good idea of what is going on or how much damage you're doing, rather. We are just going to uh, whip through this build really quickly because, uh, yeah, whatever, who cares? This probably, maybe someday will be fixed, I don't know. Anyways, I like, comment, and subscribe, and let's just get into this broken old build, shall we? Alrighty, for our specialization, we will be using the Technician for the plus one skill tier, Amped, and also for overclock CPU plus 10% skill damage. As for my weapons, I'm still using the same old same old my tactical m249 para para shut up with spike on it headshots grant plus 20 percent headshot damage for eight seconds then i'm also using my send off once again with perfectly rooted on it while equipped and in cover all skill damage and healing is increased by plus 30 percent for 15 seconds buff is lost when exiting cover can occur once per 60 seconds and then also my wonderful boomstick the drunken idiot for perpetuation even though we're not using it and then you know because america you're welcome next as for the gear itself, it's obviously four-piece striker. So I'm sure you know the bonuses by now, but a refresher is always good. Two pieces, plus 15% weapon handling, three pieces, plus 15% rate of fire, four pieces, a striker's gamble. Weapon hits amplify total weapon damage by 0.5%, stacking up to 50 times. One stack is lost each second, three stacks are lost every time you miss. So basically, you get full stacks after you're shooting your turret, or a friend, or the NPCs in the world, and you get full stacks you are getting plus 25 percent damage to your weapon and well to your skills fantastic on my mask i have critical hit damage and my mod is critical hit chance i would really like to see more skill damage here in all seriousness as for the chess piece i'm using the sacrifice only after everything has been given can you expect to receive when the vessel is empty the soul is complete <laughs> So dumb. This gives us a plus 10% headshot damage. My core attributes are weapon damage. Status effect, not needed. 10% skill damage, yes please. And my mod is critical hit chance. Perfect glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 30%. All damage you take is amplified by 60%. Now with this build, you are getting 30% to your weapon and to your skills. But you do have to be careful. I was able to solo heroic with this, so it's not too obnoxiously bad but you still got to be careful with it but it's also fun as for my holster plus one skill tier and explosive resistance here's another one of those places where i can make up with more skill damage onto the backpack which i'm using wyvern wear for the plus a 10 percent skill damage plus one skill tier skill damage mm -hmm, yes please status effect and skill haste for my mod talents tech support skill kills increase total skill damage by 25 percent for 20 seconds when it comes to this generally once you get it procced it will 
stay proct for the entire counter because your skills are going to be destroying everything. Yes, 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 and DDD. As for my gloves, which I did craft and kind of got lucky with, I got plus 8.4 skill damage, so that's good. I'll take it. And finally, the knee pads, plus one skill tier and a 9.1 crit hit damage. And not to beat a dead horse, but I would like more skill damage here just to see overall how much damage we could actually do with our skills. So as for the skills themselves, I am using the assault turret. 20 second cooldown, 180 second duration, health, blah, 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 blah. Does a lot of damage. I guess you probably will want to see my mods. Uh, plus 9.8% health. 3.9% damage and a plus a 6.7% skill haste. And then we are also using the striker drone because DPS, DPS, DPS. This bad boy says it does 59,030 damage, which we are putting out way more damage than that. As for my mods, plus 7.4% duration, plus 4.9% damage, and a plus a 9.5% health. So that is pretty much it for the build. Uh, yeah, we did absolutely whip through this just because it could possibly get get fixed <laughs> then again maybe not who knows i really don't care about getting my stacks off of my turret or regular npcs or friends because massive has known about this for a uh, a really long time and have done nothing about it so i don't really see it as a glitch or something you could get banned for it i see it more as maybe they should fix their stupid game you know anyways but I do highly recommend throwing it together really quick. Go goof around with it. It's a lot of fun. It's actually rather enjoyable. I'm sure the beginning gameplay isn't all that fantastic and super suspenseful and surprisingly amazing. But, you know, I'm not that great of a player. And uh, that was my first run through of the day with it. And yeah, just insert any excuse you want here. Either way, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I am always curious. Suggestions. I don't know. I seriously say it. Go try it. It's fun. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that other junk, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace! And, uh, yeah, also, if you want, I guess you guys can join the Discord. Link's always in the description, but I don't know, I don't know if a lot of people can handle all the goofballs that are in there. We say some pretty, pretty dumb stuff all the time. Gotta love it. It's amazing. Peace!